So we're still on the show right here called uh, Yeah to Vibes on Prime TV. So we're still trying to find out from our guest today. Basically, uh, you know, this is a live show, so anything can get to happen right there. But let's start with your introduction, man, and uh, how everything is going from where you are in Ghana. Uh, maybe let us know some few information that we need to be aware about. Well, um, like, like I mentioned earlier, is it better now? Can you hear me? I can myself? get you loud and clear now. Yes. So, like I mentioned, my name is DJ Al Jazeera. Um, been in the industry for more than a decade, you know, as a radio host, content producer, um, um, as well as a music business executive, uh, managing record labels and consulting for artists across Africa and the Caribbean. Uh, my last radio show that I did was somewhere around 2015, mm -hmm. I think 2017. Uh, personally, I've done like over 300 A-list interviews. You can mention the likes of Jadena, LL Cool J, um, AKA Cassidy, um, 50 Cent, and a lot of um, American artists. Yeah, but, but let's talk about the struggle uh, being in this industry because a few days ago we had Rema in Zambia, uh, issues to come uh, with uh, promoters, time as well, not keeping your time. Uh, maybe they could be maybe delayed or flight to get these international artists. How is it when you are getting all these uh, international artists in your country, Ghana, and how would you describe it? Have you ever had any challenges and how do you deal with the challenges? Yes, yes. I mean, the, the challenges surrounding African travel is enormous. I mean, if you consider especially even bringing in Caribbean artists because there's no direct flight, it's the same situation with um, Zambia. Um, I was there like three weeks ago for Big Ten Up. Um, that was my first time. And I also faced a similar situation. I mean, having a transit in Joburg and coming to Lusaka. Unfortunately, when I came down, um, I had to receive my luggage three days later. And uh, it's quite unfortunate. I think the best way to get an artist in your country is to get in two days or even a day before the main show to, to do away with the challenges, the struggles in terms of um, um, flights because nobody is immune of calamity. And when it happens that way, you're able to save your fans who are paying for the show because they are the premium people that you are serving, you know, because you can never predict the delays in flight. For example, when I was living in Akka, I was supposed to spend 10 days in Lusaka, but I had to cut it short because in the plane, even in Accra, we had a six hour delay. So we had to move the next day. And when it happens like that, suppose that an artist is supposed to perform the next day, I mean, just imagine what happens. Um, I was in contact with Sean. <laughs> I, I got to know of these issues that they, they got to Lusaka somewhere around 1 a.m., you know, because of these flight issues. And they had to reschedule the event till Monday. So it's quite unfortunate, but um, as promoters, as, uh, as, as event planners, it's always best to schedule flights for the artists to come at least a day before or two days before. And it's even, I mean, boost um, the fans' interest to attend the show. For example, you can, you can put together a press conference within that period and give them a good tour of your country. And it's also a good opportunity for local artists to uh, um, liaise with, I mean, the international headliner mm -hmm. to even have collaborations, features, etc. you know, to produce a holistic show. <laughs> we, we, we know a few artists who are from Ghana. Uh, you are born and bred from Ghana right there as well. Um, exactly. Yeah, so is, is, is your country full support with uh, being proud of Ghana music? Do you guys play 100% Ghana music? How's the radio station? How the industry, like the media, is it uh, helpful to promote your own? Like, are you super proud of your own in Ghana? Yes. I mean, you can tell from a lot of these international awards like the BET, um, MTV Bases, etc. And you see that there are a lot of Ghanaian artists dominating. And that tells you that there's, I mean, homegrown support 
But as to policies to say that it's 100% Ghanaian music, that is not the way it happens over here. Although local content is prioritized, but uh, the market is open for everybody to come in. As far as we have a good local partner in terms of PR, it's not really a struggle for you to, I mean, have your mark in the industry. I think the issue and the challenge for a lot of international artists to penetrate into the Ghanaian market is about consistency and finding the right partners to work with. So with regards to local content in our media, yes, it's being played, and, you know, it's about consistency being, I mean, consistent on the platforms, making sure that you, you liaise with um, show producers, events producers for you to be up there. Okay, so what, what, what is like the current biggest thing that you as a promoter who's from Ghana, you are right now fighting for? To be honest with you right now in Zambia, what we're fighting for is to have a lot of artists coming from Zambia, making it everywhere, not just Africa, but the world as well. So what, what is like the biggest dream for you guys who are in Ghana? What are you fighting for? What is your agenda? So personally, um, for me, I retired from um, music as a, as, as a DJ on radio to pursue an agenda. And this agenda is about establishing a platform where artists who are creating content could have their music marketed so they reach I mean, the right set of audience. It's always a struggle when Ghanaian artists are looking forward to international distributors to distribute their song. And it's the same problem across the continent. It's always a struggle to get investment for, for, for marketing music. And for me, I'm trying to liaise with partners to establish a platform where artists can you know, market their music. And it also goes down to royalty collection. I mean, we are looking at tech in which it becomes a very good cycle. When you invest in the music, you're able to have money back from that investment. And that is about royalty collection for artists and also setting a distribution label where artists can get the adequate investment and compete with the likes of the American artists that you see them flourishing each and every time. And also making avenues in where um, local content is being appreciated. For example, when you travel to any airport, you get to hear music alongside announcements that is being made. Now, um, my company, The Music Pharmacy, is liaising with restaurants, hotels, whereby at the foyer you can have um, local artist content being played in these hotels alongside um, adverts of these premises, these shops, and uh, outlets. Mm, okay, so maybe the other thing I like to find out before we get let you go is also. Um, uh, uplifting one another. Do we have renowned artists, super proud of new artists who want to see other artists shine? You know, Ghana, me, every time I talk about Ghana, the first artist that comes in my mind is Tone Boy. The first artist that comes in my mind is Sakodi and it's other few names that have exactly. also done amazing work right there as well. Are these guys helping young uprising artists? Yes, I mean, it's, it's evident. He has blessed a lot of artists in terms of collaborations, in terms of features, and it's not limited to just Ghanaian artists. I mean, he's open to artists from Nigeria, artists from the South. And for me, it's even my goal to help other artists around the continent to collaborate. I was in Ivory Coast somewhere around December, and it was all about establishing platforms for francophone artists to collaborate with anglophone artists and if you look on the continent it's very difficult for you to see um, artists go beyond i mean language which seem to be a barrier for most of them i mean in terms of collaboration and they they seem to be a very wider market for for music i mean cross-pollinating different markets 
So if you look at artists, I mean, trying to elevate other artists that is up and coming, I mean, it's quite evidential for you to see that um, Ghanaian artists, for example, Sakura has done it in the past. There are a lot of them. You can talk about even Diamond Platinums with, um, you know, Zbi from Congo and the likes. And it's something that I will encourage, I mean, people in the Zambian industry. I'm looking forward to come back there again. And I'm in talks with some labels and some artists as well as producers for us to work together and elevate I mean, Zambian content as well as Ghanaian content. Because at the end of the day, you cross-pollinate and hit into different markets. And one thing that I haven't seen over the period is a lot of um, Zambian music crossing to West Africa. Some time ago, it was done when Adam featured Clo Ice Queen uh, on, on his song. And I look for that was a remix, more yeah. That, but yes. And also, I'm trying to play a major role in establishing new links. Um, I, quite, I, I met Jay Trigger when I was down there. Um, Roberto is my good friend, General Ozzy. And we did that in the past as well for General Ozzy, uh, together with um, Neil Ante, who is a medical doctor and a musician as well, on his um, album released somewhere around 2015. So, I mean, it continues, it doesn't stop here. We try to make things happen. Due to time, uh, it was great having a conversation. I, I don't know how you say bye-bye, and uh, we really appreciate it, any, any of your language, but can you can you do us a favor by saying that here, kuna kwatu, kuna tima gamba, ziko mo, ma wombe ni, Yeah. You know what I was in Lusaka? I was taught, mwela uh, buanji. <laughs> and what? You were taught what? Mwela <laughs> buanji. <laughs> okay, so a quick one. How, how, how do you say thank you very much in your language? Any? Medasipa, medasipa. Ish, man. Uh, I, I don't know if I can even say that, but thank you very much. Just, Hoping let, that let me, let me we get to have more time to have a conversation with you sometime. Medawasipa. All right, so let's get to move on on today's edition, still on Yatu Vibes, and uh, we were talking to an amazing promoter all the way from Ghana. He has worked with quite a number of uh, artists, like he mentioned right there, and the growth starts with each one of us playing that role. There's no one who's going to say no. Uh, music and other stuff right there. You heard him right there saying they're super proud of their stuff. We are also proud of our own a little bit there. So if you have a friend who says I don't listen to Zambia music, I don't know which country they come from. But anyways, let's go to Daylight as uh, current video. On the other side, we have him on Saint right here on Yatu Vibes on Prime TV. Then we give some few shout outs live right here as well on Prime Television.